You're always on my mind. You're always on my mind. Shout out to Mr. Willie Nelson, who I just Googled is 90, 90 years old. Wow. So that song, I only did a couple seconds because I don't know it very well. Called Always On My Mind. It's a classic. I'm going to listen to it after this episode, after I record it. Mind. I'm using this song as point number two of the five points of being a spiritual superstar, shining star, which is spiritual study on my mind. It's dealing with the intellect, reading. I think this is the one that most of us are accustomed to, especially if you're very familiar or raised in the Western world. We value, we focus more on getting to something, experiencing something through ideas, through reading, through audio books. You know, some people say we don't read anymore. Excuse me, through the mind. I think the thing that's misleading is that we think that by reading something about it, of memorizing some kind of facts about it, that that's somehow means that we know it and knowing K-N-O-W is rooted from Gnosis, G-N-S-O-S, G-N-O-S-I-S, Gnosis, which is really rooted more from a, a knowing from experience of wisdom of living it versus just reading about it. And, you know, there there is a distinct difference. It's the difference between reading about a roller coaster and being on a roller coaster. I think everybody would agree that there's, you can read about it and get a sense of it, but until you've actually been on a roller coaster, it's a different thing, right? Or it's the difference between learning what you learn in school and, and, and reading about finance or economics or psychology. And that's, there's a gap though from studying it. And then, you know, if you studied psychology, there's a difference between studying it. And then when you're sitting in front of that first client and applying what you intellectually and the concepts, right, that you studied. I think though, studying and spiritual study has such an important place, but I think we willed and give it a bigger chunk of the pie than it deserves. There's an imbalance if we focus purely on study without integrating other things from my own personal experience. And I'll just say that I also had an imbalance when that was the sole way that I tried to do my spiritual work and healing work. And it was slow moving. And when I say imbalance or lack of integration, in some ways it was like, okay, I'm doing the spiritual study and I get the concepts but maybe I wasn't integrating fully yet more of more and more of what those teachings were implying of the embodiment and application of that. I still had my my fears and you know I still do, right? But more and more often I think I'm applying and making more choices that are aligned with the fullness and and the the qualities of the spirit versus the qualities and fears of patterns and past traumas and et cetera, et cetera. So study isn't going to be the way that gets you there, but it is a valuable foundation for where you want to go. For me, I've shared in the previous uh, episode, if you haven't listened to the five points and the five steps of being a spiritual shining star, please listen to that podcast episode. It's like two or three episodes back at this point because it gives an overview of all the five points and why I think each point is is its own thing in its own right and how they're all integrated and important in having a robust spiritual practice, which will lead to a robust life. Because as I've said before, the world is quick to put us in boxes and limitations, whereas the spirit and doing our work helps take the shackles off, whether self-imposed or imposed by others. It helps liberate us and really connect on a more and more deeper level, lived, experienced, and expressed of our loving nature, of our infinite wisdom, of our authentic power, etc., etc. So spiritual studies place in this 
is exactly what it is of, of finding different spiritual texts. Whatever text resonates with you, it could be the Bible. It could be, for me, I've mentioned my, the, the text that I've stayed with the longest that was like, oh, this is my jam, is A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles, because I have a very inquisitive mind, very detail-oriented, why, 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 why is one of the questions that I've been asking since a little girl, not just about life, but about a lot of different things. And I feel like I've gotten to the resolution finally of the whys that I was asking as a child, as opposed to the feeling guilty for asking the questions or or being being told that I need to take things by faith. And faith does have its place. But also having an intellectual understanding, whatever it is that you follow should support your intelligence, right? We cultivate this mind in school for a reason. And whatever you're, whatever you're studying should and could support and hold up to your intellectual curiosities and answer questions and give context. For me, that was A Course in Miracles. I also have a very strong interest in psychology and it speaks to that part of me as well. So what having a spiritual study, what spiritual study did for me and what it can do for others is context matters. Life can be a challenge. Like so many different things can happen and we're like, why is this happening? And one interpretation could be, oh, well, this is happening because I'm a bad person and I'm being punished and all these other things. And there are some, unfortunately, some texts that might teach you and support you in that thinking. That's not what we do here. That's not what we're about. And one of the things that, and before I, excuse me, before I came across other texts, I was kind of like struggling with that. What having a spiritual study practice did for me was it gave me a context that was empowering to live into and to apply to my day-to-day -day life. That's what I was looking for. I needed something. How, how can I implement this and what can I do that supports and helps me navigate day-to-day -day living? Not just feeling good on a Sunday or anything like that and then going back out in the world and feeling ill-prepared and, and getting the shit kicked out of you. It's like, no, I need some spiritual something to help me through these ebbs and flows during the week. And and that's what a, you know, having a spiritual study, whether it's Bible study, it doesn't matter to me personally, like whatever your text is, as long as it supports you in in making sense of the world around you intellectually, of having a context that supports you and that supports you in understanding different things that are unfolding or whatever your questions are. You may not care about that. I did, but you may not care about that and have other questions. As long as whatever you're studying supports you in answering those questions and are aligned with you know, the, the fullness of your potential and supporting you and going in that direction, then it's then it's doing what it what it could and what it should do. So that's what I'll say about spiritual study. I think that this one is a bit more direct because we approach so many things intellectually already. But the buck just doesn't stop there. It's one thing to have the understanding and another thing to have the application. And that's why there's more than just study as a step. That's why there's five points in the star. So I'll leave it here for now. Uh, if you have heard something that speaks to you today, please like this, this message. Please like the podcast. Please share it with some friends and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you if there's something that you would like explored on this platform. Always open to ideas. I'm going to sign off for now, but please, if you haven't already subscribed, it's just one one way to get some feedback because I can't see your beautiful face or hear your voice or know what's going on in your life, but some way to get some feedback that there's something that you got from this work that I'm putting out here in a way that is encouraging and that blessed you in some way. That's just what one small clicking of a button can do. So if you don't mind doing that, I'd really appreciate, appreciate it if what I've said is true and that it speaks to you. 
I'm sending so much love, many blessings, and until the next time, bye for now.